Now, as our Shinsen just reported, the Seolo ferry is being uh, transported to a transport vessel. It will be connected to a semi submersible uh, just about now and head to the Mokpo Newport. Our Oh Jung Hee is at Mokpo Newport and she has a story of how the port is getting ready for the ferry's arrival. Quiet and fairly empty for now, but officials here are getting ready for the Sewolho ferry's arrival. This is Mokpo New Port, where the Sewolho will be kept for an as yet undetermined amount of time, some 87 kilometers away from where it sank three years ago. It'll be placed on an iron dry dock at the eastern part of the port that's specially designed to handle large, heavy ships. Where I'm standing right now is the place where Sewolho ferry is to be placed once it docks in Mokpo. And off in the distance, you can see the place where shelters for the victims' families will be set up. Engineers are already working to install telecommunication equipment and electricity wires for over 50 container booths that will be built. When exactly the Sewolho ferry will be moved onto land is not clear, but the Oceans Ministry expects it could be around April 5th. We can't give an exact prediction on when the ferry will be moved onto the dock, but we expect it will be about 12 or 13 days from today. The search for the bodies of the missing passengers will begin after the ferry is on dry land and stable. And the related government ministries, including the Ocean's Public Safety and Health Ministries, will form an on-site headquarters to manage the items recovered from the ferry, provide support for the investigation of the ferry's body, and to arrange funerals for the missing passengers. Oh Jung-hee, Arirang News, Mokpo.